to another video from iGadgets Techie and today I'm going to be showing you the newly updated iOS 7 tweak called IntelliScreen X. Now this is an amazing tweak but I do just want to point out it is a bit pricey. Now this tweak is available from the Cydia store for $9.99. I believe though if you've previously bought IntelliScreen X7 this will be a free upgrade but I'd ask you to just check it on the Cydia store first of all but it does come with a free trial which is what I've got here at the moment on my iPhone now IntelliScreen X7 is basically a lock screen and a notification tweak so let's just have a quick look to see what we get so first of all if we were to just lock the screen so what we can do here is just quickly glance at the IntelliScreen X so first of all you're presented with your notifications here um, and obviously it gives you the date and the time there it underneath that it's got the weather and then obviously it's got your notifications so now let's just have a quick look at the tweak if we were to swipe across we get quite a few options here so first what we can do is if we wanted to for example if we wanted to have a look or go back to our default lock screen if we just tap on X it then just takes it takes us to our default lock screen so let's just come out of that I'm just going to go through each of the sections here so home screen is basically what we saw earlier just your notifications your preview your weather and the date and time now moving down we can go on to our mail now this will then give us an opportunity to glance at all the emails we've received without having to actually go into the mail application itself so again this is very very handy and the best thing about it is when you actually tap on a mail it gives you the option to reply to open it you can even mark it as read and even delete it so this is really really handy just tap back on it to close the mail itself so this is the mail screen now let's just swipe across again we've got then also same applies with our Twitter so again you get all the tweets directly on your lock screen without having to open the application again perfect ideal so again if we tap on a tweet we can choose to open it reply retweet and obviously go on to the link itself if we were to go on to the link for example it will then just take us to the link from that tweet tweet we got now with the Twitter application, um, the actual account will be the account you've got set up in your default Twitter application. So make sure you've got the correct account there. We can actually tweet from this lock screen as well. So if we just tap on the plus here in timeline, and then it gives us the option to tweet and you can just type your tweet and um, you can directly tweet uh, messages from the IntelliScreen X application so again really handy moving on let's just have a look at the next one down on the list now I don't really use Facebook so I don't have the Facebook account configured here but obviously you can actually configure your Facebook account here and use it in the same way as I just showed you with the Twitter application now let's have a look at the RSS feeds now I've not actually messed with the settings this is just what I got in the default section but I believe you can actually customize your own RSS feeds so we got um, sci-fi and tech news followed by technology news and uh, now if we were to tap on a story it should actually pull up the story for us there we have the stories opened up really handy it doesn't open up Safari or anything it's just like a, a read application built within now also in this application there's an app called messages plus which is integrated with the IntelliScreen X application and it does actually come free if you were to pay the 999 in terms of the price for this application so with messages plus you can message from your lock screen by just tapping the icon here in the corner and here obviously we can choose to tweet whoever we like now the next amazing thing with this application is that it comes with a brand new feature and this is called 
slide so all we do is slide down and it will open up the recently opened applications and from here you can directly go onto these applications or we can just have a quick preview of it so for example with tweetbot you can just preview the application itself and it does actually work from outside your lock screen as well so for example i've got my device to unlock now if i was to just swipe like so in the left hand corner again we'll have this functionality now we'll just have a look at the few options available in settings now i believe this has been simplified quite a lot compared to previous versions of this application um, for example if we were to go into the settings here and just find our application in telescreen x all very simplified here in the settings um, we've got a couple of options down here where we can have the tweak enabled on lock screen which is what i've just shown you we can even change the settings in terms of dimming our screen so let's just change that the refresh obviously we can change that as well lock screen blur we can blur it or we can just tint it with the different percentages and obviously we've got the slide on functionality which i just showed you earlier now also it says down here that when a passcode is set slide will only show a live view for and only allowed interaction with whitelisted apps so for example i don't use a passcode on my lock screen but if you do then you can still use the slide functionality as long as you make sure you've got the relevant app in your whitelisted list here now let's just have a quick look at the different settings available we've got with messages plus um, we can choose to enable or disable this and we can choose to enable or disable the functional functionality on the lock screen and obviously we can choose to have the manual banner option enabled or disabled now that's all from me for today thanks for watching this video if you did enjoy it please do subscribe leave a comment or if you've got any questions you can leave them in the comment section below and um, if you did enjoy the video please do give me a thumbs up and i hope to see you in the next one Thank you.